show you the answer, and then once you write it down, then you can go, because then obviously you'll have the answer, right? Right? We'll see. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's look at the special right triangles. One thing we know is if we have the short leg, right? These are your two legs. But notice, if we have the short leg, to find the hypotenuse, all we have to do is multiply by 2. two. So, if that's 7, then this has 14. to be 14. So think about it this way, actually. All I'm doing is I'm representing my 7 as my x. Wait, and then now, huh? Yeah. So we say 2 times 17 equals 14. OK? And we'll write it as 14, but I just want to show you where am I getting this or why am I getting it. Now the next thing, Philip, is if here's my x, to get the hypotenuse, I multiply by 2. To get to my other leg, I need to divide. Divide by what? 2. I don't know. Look at x. Here's 2x. X, x times square root of 3. So therefore, all I need to do is just multiply by the square root of 3. OK? And that's it, 12 guys. 12.1. So I'll approximate. OK? But guys, that's all we need to be have, have done. All right? I get it now, so that's like the yeah, you just follow along with the triangles. Okay. I did it a different way.